Now, the police traffic officer who was recently assaulted by a military officer has finally spoken about what happened. I have the details. Now, former NTV News anchor Mr. Frank Walusimbi has gotten a very fat job. Stand by for the details. And from the entertainment industry, Wizo Manizo is finally making it official with Baby Mama. Stand by for the details. Well, finally, American superstar Chris Brown is coming to Uganda. When and why? Stand by for the details. Welcome to the latest news making headlines in the current affairs and also in the entertainment industry. However, before we get into the details, kindly subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, starting off with our first story, a former NTV Uganda's news anchor, that is Mr. Frank Walusimbi, has joined United Nations Commissioner for Refugees as the communications officer. Now, this comes weeks after he resigned from NTV Uganda, a station he worked at for 15 years. Well, it should be remembered that few days after resigning from NTV, news circulated indicating that he will be joining BBS TV as a news anchor, but that was unconfirmed information. But finally, it's been confirmed Mr. Frank Walusimbi is now the communications officer in the United Nations Commissioner for Refugees. Well, congratulations to you, Mr. Frank Walusimbi, and right here on the Buzz UG, we wish you all the best. Well, in other news, it's finally been confirmed American superstar Chris Brown is going to be meeting with the ghetto kids. Yes, I'm talking about Ugandan ghetto kids. This was actually revealed by Patricia Nabakoza, a member of this famous group. So this girl said they posted a video on their Instagram and asked to meet Chris Brown and then he responded by saying he was open to the idea and he asked them to make it happen. So Patricia says preparations to meet Chris Brown have already started and hopefully it will happen very soon. So he's either coming to Uganda or they are traveling to the other side. Uh, it should be remembered that these kids have worked with big names internationally in the entertainment industry. Uh, talk about French Montana, Master KG from South Africa and many others. Wow, we can't wait for this to happen and definitely I'll keep you posted right here on The Buzz UG. Well, in other news, Wizo Manizo is planning a lavish wedding with his lover, that is Sandra Teta. Now, this information was revealed by Wizo Manizo himself during an interview on Spark TV. Now, Wizo Manizo said the introduction is going to happen very soon in Rwanda, but anyone who is to attend the introduction is going to pay for their own ticket. Of course, it should be remembered that Sandra Teta is a Rwandan and that is why the introduction is happening in Rwanda. Actually, Wizo Manizo hooked up with Sandra Teta in 2018 and up to now, they are still holding on together. Well, I just hope Wizo Manizo is very serious with this program and definitely I'll keep you posted right here on The Buzz UG. Well, in other news, Mr. Henry from Galaxy FM has finally refuted the rumors circulating on different social media platforms indicating that he has separated with Prima Kadash. Now, Mr. Henry says the reports about their breakup are not true. He says they are still together and everything is okay. I mean, they are 100% very happy. So, Mr. Henry says disregard all that information circulating on social media. Anyways, we are watching and I'll keep you posted right here on The Buzz UG. Well, in other news, the Minister of Internal Affairs, that is Geno Kahinda Otafire, has asked the leadership of UPDF to arrest the two military officers who assaulted a Uganda police traffic officer on Monday evening. Now, during an interview on CBS FM, Geno Kahinda Otafire said it's now becoming a practice for members of UPDF to assault police officers executing their constitutional duties. Now, he added that as one of the members of the UPDF, they cannot allow members of the National Army to start misbehaving like past armies in the 70s. 
Well, he also said both leaders of Uganda police and UPDF are going to sit and find a way to why the military officers continue to assault their fellow police officers. Now, in his own words, he said they must be arrested immediately. I'm going to work on it with both commanders. No one is above the law. Now, this video has since been making rounds on different social media platforms and it's very unfortunate to see sister security agencies display this type of disrespect and indiscipline for each other in broad daylight. Let's first of all listen to the traffic police officer who was assaulted by the military officer. We tried to engage them, we told them, you allow this few vehicles here to move so that actually we can reduce the pressure from up there so that you can also access the road. They tried to refuse. Actually, they, they, there was one a short guy, brown. He refused, but the friend tried actually to understand us. Actually, in that process, when he saw me coming to him, he grabbed my collar, like this. He grabbed my collar, but me I was just trying to avoid him assessing his trigger. In that process, that's during that scuffle, I see he, he released a bullet, and the bullet hit somebody's car. So when the friend, the, the friend saw that situation, he had to come and grab the gun from me. Uh, one people ran about. There was there is this van of uh, press unit of dummy. It was the same thing. The roundabout was blocked. They were coming from this side of Ginger Road. They should tell them actually the right thing to do. Ambala uniform, fenat kolila government ye no. Kewalia singa munne kola. Na fetuli kuwatu we so muri mugo no gat trafficki ruakubanga tu tereze embera mchevuga. No recho chijeo fenna bromo no vuna nizibwa abwe. What traffic tali ku kubo nga chimori ne ranga tumwe baza rechi ko rechi ya koze na banga yalaze obukugu chikola cha maje na dala military police chikola chibinyo kubanga kachogo murundi gulinga gwa kuna ne ate betu ya banga ate bonga bo badandi so kwekuba kadani ata na atukuma faba bulijo well that is the police officer who was assaulted and the second voice is for Mr. Seriko Kauma Rogers the traffic police commander in Kampala. Well there you go that is some of the latest news making headlines in the current affairs and also in the entertainment industry. In case you have any comment just put it down in the comment section but most importantly subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you.